All right, this first log's up there. I can make it fit a little tighter. I'll also cut it so that my joint doesn't land above a window frame. My goal today is to go two more high on this back gable wall. So if I can finish this runoff and another one, that would be pretty sweet. If all goes well, I could even start on this eave wall here. Well, exciting times, guys. I'm about to put the very last log on the eave walls up on the cabin right now. I just have one 12 foot log left and that is it for the eave walls. So after I get this one up here, all there is left to do on the eave walls is make this a flat surface up top, make sure both walls are level with each other, nail down a top plate and that's it. There's still gable logs to do, but those will be a lot shorter. I'm excited to be done with these 40 foot walls. Had enough. So I know last video I said I was going to be on the gables, but I'm not going to get to it in this video. It'll have to be in the next one. And we'll just make that its own video because then that'll be it for logs. Also, I don't know if you can notice or not, but above the door, there's about two or three inches of space to allow for settling. And I didn't do that on the windows. I basically just notched these out flush to the frame. When I go to install my windows, I am going to rip a couple inches off the top above the frames. I've never had issues in any of the log cabins that I've built, you know, with settling. But since this is a much bigger place and the windows are going to be fairly expensive, I want to make sure I account for that because if you don't, you can have windows bind up and they can even crack in extreme cases. So I definitely want to make sure I account for that and leave enough room. It's easy enough to fix, so might as well do it when I go to install the windows. Also, I am going to change up how I'm going to do my floor. I talked about going flush with these stumps, but I'm going to do it like this. The stumps are all level with each other, so it'll be easy enough to just do it this way. The reason I was going to go flush with the stumps was to just to have more headroom, but this will be way easier, way better. I'll spike this into the um, bottom log, and then I'll pour more pads down the center and have a beam that goes right here to support the middle. And doing the floor that way, I'm still going to have over eight feet of headroom, so might as well. It'll be way easier. So all there is left to do on the eave walls now is flatten them out, make sure they're both level with each other, you know, make sure they're the same height, and then nail on my top plate, which is actually going to be a beam. And then I'll have one more log that comes out on the front here, and my rafters will sit on top of that, and it'll have a pretty good overhang for a front porch. Yeah, then it's just building off the gables and roofing this thing. And then as far as chinking goes between the logs, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. I have some time. I'm not going to chink it till next fall. There's lots of brands out there. I've heard really good things about log jam and permachink. You know, those are synthetic materials that work really well, but they're also really expensive. The alternative to that is to do a mortar mixture. You know, it's like mortar, sand, lime. There's all kinds of different recipes to give you different looks. But that's kind of the classic look. Um, I think that looks nice, but like I said, I have time to figure out what exactly we're gonna do. But right now I'm kind of leaning towards the synthetic option, you know, go with like log jam or permachink. We'll see. Other than that, it's getting there. We have a bunch of stones on our property too, in a big pile already. I might end up stoning all the way around this. I think that would look really nice. That'll be at a later date, of course, but that's always an option as well. 
So I think next week my dad's gonna come up and we're gonna do all the clearing around the cabin. So we're gonna clear out our yard area. I'm gonna do all that before I do anything else on the cabin because I wanna get firewood put up as soon as possible here. And there's gonna be plenty of it because all this is gonna get clear cut around here, a nice little perimeter around the cabin. We're gonna leave all maples, all spruce. The only trees that are getting cut down are popples and that's mostly what there is anyway. A couple birch are gonna have to go that are right up against the cabin here, but that's it for those. Also, I don't know, I might end up taking down this maple too. It's kind of a nice tree. I don't. I really don't want to take it down, but I just don't want it to cause problems later on. It's the only tree that could potentially hit the cabin really. So, I mean, now is kind of the time to get rid of it if I'm going to, but it's kind of a nice tree. It would make some really good firewood though. Hi Skeeter. All these bark shavings here too, this is enough kindling for like years. So I'll gather all this up and store it somewhere, keep it dry because it makes really good kindling. So I'll probably clear cut somewhere in here, make a nice perimeter around the cabin, 20 yards wide maybe or so. You know, anything like this, these young trees, we'll keep them or transplant them somewhere. We're just gonna weed out all the popple. So here's our driveway coming in. I'll have to widen this a little bit, but there's these, these maples right here. I'm gonna kind of clear cut this too at an angle. That way when you're pulling up to the cab and you have a nice view of it coming up. And then once all this is cleared out, I can rent my skid steer, finish up what I need to do on this road here, get gravel delivered, reshape things, get rid of all the stumps. And I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. So that's the plan next week is get all this cleared out around the cabin so it'll look a lot different next time you see it. But really it should go pretty quick. Most of them are, you know, most of this stuff is just skinny little popples, you know, like two or three inch diameter. So it's not gonna take too long at all. And I'm probably not gonna get around to building a woodshed back here this year. So we'll just stack all the firewood somewhere out of the way and then just tarp the top of it for this year. So kind of a short video this week, but I'm kind of at a good stopping point right now because the gables will take a little while. There's some figuring to do, so that'll be a little bit tedious. So I'll just make that its own video, and that'll be it for logs, which is good too, because I'm kind of ready for something different. So we're on the home stretch. Just got the gables, then we'll roof it, then chinking and building the floor in the fall. So we're getting there. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next one.